In this episode of Watching the Watchers, we're talking about why Bill Montgomery, Maricopa County attorney, should not be appointed to the Arizona Supreme Court. For a little bit of background, Bill Montgomery is the county attorney for Maricopa County, which is one of the biggest counties in the United States. We have a lot of people here who are charged with crimes. He runs that agency. He was elected and has been running it for many years. Now he wants to be on the Supreme Court. In order to get on the Supreme Court, you have to go through a commission. It's called the Commission for Appellate Court Appointments. The way that it works is the commission reviews a list of potential candidates who can be appointed to the Supreme Court by the governor. When Bill Montgomery went before the commission, his application was denied. He was not added onto the shortlist. The governor added four new faces to the commission. So the governor, Governor Ducey, changed the commission. Bill Montgomery went back to the commission, resubmitted his application and reapplied essentially, and now he made the shortlist. Now the shortlist is sitting with the governor and the governor can pick somebody from that list to go onto the Supreme Court. There are three reasons why Bill Montgomery should not be on the Arizona Supreme Court. Number one, in our opinion, he is the least qualified person on that list to be appointed. Of the other candidates, when we're talking about appellate court experience, we're looking at numbers, we're looking at a background for everybody on that list who has actually had experience in appeals court or as judges. Of all of the other individuals on that list, Bill Montgomery is the least qualified. Let's take a look at the numbers. Other finalists, Ken Kanati has handled 100 oral arguments in appellate cases. Randall Howe has argued 85. David Eukner has argued 58. Andrew Jacobs has argued 35. Other finalists, Maria Elena Cruz and Sean Bearcliff, they don't have any appellate experience, but they were appeals court judges. So they were listening to all of those other oral arguments and all of those hearings. Our friend Bill Montgomery has argued one appellate court case according to his Supreme Court application. And when they investigated him further, this is a quote, other opposing counsel who had been on the other side of that said they didn't have anything to do with Mr. Montgomery and they always dealt with other people in his office. This is an article from the Arizona Republic written by Maria Poletta, published on August 8th, 2019. Reason number two why Mr. Montgomery should not be appointed to the Supreme Court, he is somebody who is highly political. He's very partisan. We've seen this in a number of different situations with his time at Maricopa County Attorney's Office. He has been adamantly opposed to progress in the medical marijuana space. He has instructed his office to prosecute crimes that later the Supreme Court found were covered by the Arizona Medical Marijuana Act. He has been somebody who has been highly political, very partisan on other hot button issues, things like LGBTQ rights and things like abortion. Prior to consideration for the Supreme Court, there was some talk of him potentially being appointed to the Senate as well. He scrubbed his social media and deleted his Twitter account. But if you go through his record, you'll find it. He is very, very highly partisan, somebody who's very political, and we do not believe he can be impartial on the Supreme Court. Reason number three why Mr. Montgomery should not be appointed to the Arizona Supreme Court, in our experience, he has had a history of trying to subvert due process under the law. In Arizona, we have what's called early disposition court, particularly in Maricopa County. What that means is they try to run cases through the court process as quickly as possible. They try to resolve your case, if you're charged with a crime, within four to six weeks. At that stage, you only have limited access to certain data. You can't get all of the information you need to properly investigate and defend your case. They will not let you do interviews with police. They will not let you request things like body cam. You don't have the opportunity to present your evidence. And so they want to compress the length of the case and close it out as quickly as possible. You have a right to take it out of early disposition court and go do that investigation. But Maricopa County Attorney's Office, under Bill Montgomery's direction, has instituted what they call, or what we call, the substantially harsher policy, which means if they give you a plea deal in the early disposition court prior to you having any access to any of the information that you need, and you reject that initial plea offer because you want to go through and do your proper investigation and know more about your case, they will tell you that any offer that you do not take at this early disposition stage 
will be substantially harsher. This is language that they use all throughout their plea deals and a lot of their forms, we have copies of them. Meaning, if you deny it here, any subsequent offer that you get as a result of doing the work that you're entitled to do will be harsher. So that means if you're facing a three-year prison deal in early disposition court and you deny it, it's gonna be more time. The more work you put it into the case, the harsher the penalty will be, which is a big problem. People do not deserve to be treated that way. People deserve a right to investigate their case and do a proper defense without being scared that they're gonna be penalized for going through what is proper due process. This has been a policy that Bill Montgomery and the Maricopa County Attorney's Office has been steadfast in standing by and we fundamentally disagree with it. Due process and your right to confront the evidence, the right to present your case are fundamental to our judicial system and we believe that this policy and the way that it's been executed over all of these years make Bill Montgomery unqualified to sit on the Arizona Supreme Court. If you believe like we do that Bill Montgomery, the Maricopa County attorney, should not be appointed to the Arizona Supreme Court, please do your part. Share this video, send it over to Governor Ducey, send your comments to his office so that you can express to him very clearly and unequivocally that there are other people on the short list who have more qualifications, who have less partisanship, and who care more about our fundamental due process rights than Bill Montgomery does, please make your voice heard. Share this video. Thanks for watching.